One of the guys from Afro National. Right. Uh, and I, I've spent a good seven or eight years looking for somebody, the main guy from right. Afro National. Uh, and I've been all over the world, and I spoke to as many people as I possibly could or can speak right. to to try and find out, try and license one of their tracks. Uh, and then the gas man comes around to read my meter. Here. Here. It comes around right. here. Right. And he's and I, and I was like, well, that's a strange name. Where are you from? And he says, oh, I'm from Sierra Leone. I'm like, oh, great, great, cool. And he's, so he goes in the kitchen, he's reading the meter. Yeah. I put on Sierra Leonean records. And he comes running out and goes, how come you're playing my music? You're playing my country's music. Well, how come, mm. how come you, what, what, what's going on? How come, how come? And I'm going, oh, you know, because I'm interested in African yeah. music and this and this and that. He's got, well, have you got any more? Have you got any more? And I said, yeah, yeah. So we start going through some stuff, and I show him the Afro National album. He goes, "Oh, you know, this is my cousin. You know, I went to school with this guy, and he's going. You know this guy?" And I said, "No, that's not. Well, obviously I know the guy from the record, right. but that's the guy I'm looking for." I said, "I only know him from the record. I have no idea where he is." And he said, "No, you know him." I said, "I don't know. How do I know him?" He said, "Because he's he works in the supermarket down the road." <laughs> I'm like, "No, you're joking." He said, "Yeah, go down today. You have to look at the security guard. He's there today." <laughs> So I was like, no, you're joking me. So five minutes later, I got my bike, went down there with the record. The guy's standing there behind the counter, showing the record. It's like, oh my God, that's me. I'm like, I've been looking for you for seven years. Do you know that? He's like, I've no idea. I don't make music anymore. How come you've got my records? What's going on? And it's like, looking at me, just, 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 you know, sheer disbelief that someone has walked into the supermarket and gone, there, you know, there you are 30 years ago. Yeah. So yeah, it's like you say, these guys are all around. Yeah, yeah. Lurking. Doing all kinds of odd things. Odd job, security guard, right. I don't know. This is Jingo as well. So this is the only other thing he recorded, apparently. It's about three years later. Yeah, the last thing he ever recorded. Um, yeah, on vinyl. I left a lot of money behind. Africa 70. Uh, it's, I don't want this. I know because I just left. This. I said, okay, it is enough, and I left you. I'm not going to run after this money. That is the real band itself. Now, we are talking about after that. After when every, the whole thing is dead, and then reissue and all those things, and sampling and all those things. You think you think I will, I will, I will be able to, to be. Um, uh, uh, conversing for that, to contest that, no, I won't be able to. Mm -hmm. 